Hi, I'm Arius. I play Blades. I am the Guildmaster of Illum uh, Naughty. We're a pretty carefree bunch. Plenty of nice folks in the guild. We've ranked as high as number 10 in the world. But that's a tough spot to hold on to, with plenty of the top guilds out there like Dragon's Bang, both EU and NA, Ventus Ferox, Royal Family, lots of crazy good players in them guilds. Anyway, we're at least in the top 50 these days, hovering between 40, 45. We're definitely not the best out there, but again, plenty of good folks in the guild who'd like to have fun, and that's what's important. So I wanted to start a progressive series of PvP tutorials. Today, I'm going to talk about the first move in a match. Think, paper, scissor, rock. For now, anyway. You still have to wait for skill and magic cooldowns, so the only thing you can do is strike, block, fake, or nothing. Which one's the best, you ask? It actually gets a little more complicated than you think. Let's talk through it. If I strike and they block, I'll get stunned, leaving me open to a barrage of incoming attacks as the opponent's cooldowns complete. Pretty much, I get wrecked. Now, if I block when they strike, same thing happens to them. They get wrecked. Now what if I pretend to strike, meaning I swipe down to cancel the strike I was attempting to make? The opponent will perhaps block, which gives me the opportunity to start my own strike, then hold it until their shield drops. Then you could swing through the drop shield, beginning your own offensive flurry. Let's talk about that fake and the hold a bit more. So to properly execute a fake, hold the button as if you were going to strike then swipe or move the pad down. Not sure how it works on a switch. I play on mobile, by the way. But yeah, hold the button to bring your swing up. Then swipe or pad down to cancel the strike, which allows you to even go into a block. Pretending to strike is another good way to force an opponent to blow their instant defensive or offensive moves early, like Ward, Thunderstorm, or Blizzard Armor. What about this offensive hold I mentioned? What is it? Basically, you hold your weapon and just keep holding. Usually, the opponent will block and you'll see the shield raised if the opponent has enough stamina. If their stamina happens to be drained, there is a good chance the shield will go up but will be dropped in a lowered state. Now, what does this mean to you? Well. If the shield is up and you swing into it, you will get stunned. If it's down and you swing into it, the opponent will still block a portion of your damage, but it won't be as strong, and your enchantments will still go through and hit them. I can confirm this because I see my frost or poison enchant proc when I hit a low blocking opponent. Now, how much of the damage is mitigated? I really have no way to test it, nor do I care to do the math, so I'm just going to say I don't know. I just know the opponent will take less damage. Also keep in mind, the opponent will likely have a shield that returns damage or drains your resources, so be careful swinging into a lowered shield. I know this may be a lot of information to process, so feel free to pause the video or go back and replay as many times as you want. Earlier, I mentioned that this first tutorial would be about the first move in the match, but as you can see, it does get more complex than simply saying paper, scissor, rock, because it opens up a pathway to other opportunities for like a counter-strike, let's say. Once you start looking for those opportunities, it starts to become more strategic, like chess. And if I didn't mention it, if you plan to PvP seriously, no matter what level you are, make sure you give particular attention to your weapon. Seriously. You can straight up PvP naked and win fights against people with 300 plus armor, if you have a good weapon. 
That's really all it takes. And a little bit of understanding on how things work. So, I hope this helps. If you're new to PvP, don't get discouraged when you lose. Don't even worry about your rank or trophies. You'll just get frustrated. Instead, try to figure out what your opponent is using to beat you. And develop a counter for it. I'll dive more into these strategies in later videos. For now, enjoy a few clips of some fights with some of my favorite opponents. Cheers. Thank you. 